Energizer, Spencer Jones here with another episode of the Jones and Four Show. The show that's here to help you live your life to the max, right? Through awesome interviews that we have, through solo shows where I give you some tips, some advice, and we just spend some quality one-on-one -on -one time. Mano y mano, you and me together. And today in this episode, well, this episode is a solo show. We can spend some time just you and I chatting, having some fun, and really helping ourselves be better, right? To improve ourselves. And hopefully in this episode, I want to share something that has really helped me. And I know you already do it to a degree because, well, first of all, you're listening to this show, but also uh, you probably do it in other aspects of your life. So I just want to bring some awareness to it because what I have discovered in my journey so far is that awareness is really the key to everything, to absolutely everything. So let's raise your awareness that you're doing this, that it's out there, and what it means to you so you then can do it intentionally, right? Because if we're aware of it, well then we could change it, we could adapt it, we could do whatever we need to do, right? Maybe it's keeping it up, intentionally continuing it, right? As opposed to just letting it be happening in the background. Let's make it intentional. So what am I talking about today? Well, today I'm talking about investing in you. That's right, investing in you, right? Hopefully you have a vested interest already, right? You are concerned about you, what happens to you. I'll tell you what, my ego definitely is concerned what happens to me, right? It's telling me what I should do, what I shouldn't do, what's right for me, what's not right for me. And sometimes it's not really the best thing or the wrong thing for me. It's just being a scared little boy who's afraid, right? Sometimes it helps, but many times it's just a scared little boy who's afraid and it hinders me, right? That's where our inner bully comes from is your inner critic, your inner bully going after you, judging you and yelling at you, right? So, so know that first of all, but I want you to invest in you. Because, well, think about it. You already are. You are already taking the time, the energy, the money at times to invest in you. One of the ways you're doing that already is by listening to the Jones and Four Show. Or maybe you're watching this, right? However you are digesting this, you are investing in you. You are taking time out of your day, taking some energy, listening to this, and hopefully implementing the things that resonate with you. You are investing in you, right? You are seeing it like, oh, I'm pouring this into me. I'm filling my cup with this so then I could give to others and I could be at my best. So when you invest in you, and you're probably doing it not just with the show, but with other things in your life, right? With maybe work, right? If you have a professional growth things you're doing at work or other personal development you're doing, maybe you're meditating, Right? If you're not meditating, give it a shot. Right, Check us out on Insight Timer or anywhere, really. Go check it out because, man, doing meditation and really going down that rabbit hole has helped me immensely. Anyway, it's one way to invest in yourself, but there's multiple ways. And we're going to chat about a variety of ways you can invest in you. But first and foremost, uh, I want to share the three things that you can invest in. Right, And I've already mentioned them. Uh, offhand. So let's just go right into them. the three things that you invest. You can invest your time, right? So by donating your time, let's say you want to go help out at, at a charity, right? Or maybe a, a fundraising event, right? Well, you can offer your time, right? So now you're, you're giving your hours to help others. You can give your talents to help others, right? But that's more, that's investing in others, right? But so investing in you, you're giving your time to invest in you, right? You're taking the time to listen to the Jones and Four show. The second thing is your energy. You are investing energy into what you do. Now, here's a crazy thing. Absolutely everything is energy. Everything. The thought you think is energy. It's vibrational energy, but it also burns calories. It's caloric energy, right? For you to think a thought. Now, this is this blew me away when I was reading it, and then it, yet it made total sense. I'm like, this is crazy, but it makes perfect sense. It was wild. Is that even a thought 
takes calories to burn, right? It takes energy to have a thought. So when you're sitting there thinking, you are burning calories. Albeit not as many calories as if you went for a run or something, but you're still burning calories, right? To produce that thought, to have that synapse fire, <clears throat> to have that energy go through the brain, through all the synapses and all that stuff, so through the nerve endings and your nervous system to get to where it needs to go, right? It's crazy. It takes energy. So you can invest in yourself and with time, with money. Or sorry, with energy, time and energy. And I already said the third one by accident, and that's money right? You can invest money into you. Now, when a lot of people say, hey, invest in yourself, right? Even I've posted stuff like that on social media at times, invest in you. Well, I want you to invest in you. Our minds almost instantaneously go to investing money, putting dollars in front of it, right? And I don't know if it's because we're a consumer you know, people, we're, we're consumers, that's what we do, and, and our mind really has been conditioned to think about money all the time, right? To focus on how much does this cost? What is this doing? And, you know, all of that, how much money do I make? How much am I spending? Money, right? Our mind is always going there. So when I hear, oh, invest in yourself, my mind, I'll be honest, my mind still, most of the time goes to, well, how much am I investing? What is the cost? What are the, what's the dollar amount that I'm going to invest in myself or in that program or in that thing or in another person or whatever it is, right? Money. It's a necessary evil if you want to think about it that way, but really I, I'm not even sure it's evil. It's, it's an exchange policy. That's all it is, right? It's, it's an energetic currency that we see as a currency that we pay for things or bill for things or whatever. So you have three things that you can use to invest in yourself, time, energy, and money. Now, I'll tell you, when I was building my business, and I'm still building it and growing it, right? We're hoping to impact over a million people uh, through, well, from here on out, right? Not necessarily even capped on a year per se, but we wanna help a million people. And that is, well, when I first started building this business, I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy not a lot of money, right? You could take one of these or you could take any combination of those three to invest in you and well, invest in anything, right? So I invest a lot of time and energy. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that I listen to a bunch of podcasts. I read books. I've read websites. I'm learning how to build a business. And then I implement it. I took the time and the energy to implement the different things. Here's the thing. Some of it worked. Some of it was nice but not all of it did. And the things that seemed to click for others did not click for me, right? It just did not come together like, okay, this is a cool idea. I like this, but why isn't it all falling into place? Like it just did not make any sense to me. I was so confused, frustrated, aggravated by the whole thing. I'm going to be really honest with you. I was at a loss. I was investing hours upon hours upon hours. Hey, are you ready to crush it? to go after your dreams and goals and live your life to the max? Well, of course you are. That's why you're here listening or watching to the Jones and Four show, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But sometimes we still get stuck, right? These podcasts, this show is great, but that's not everything sometimes. Sometimes we need a little more. And you know what? I get that. What helps me and what has helped me and continues is a community. And surrounding myself with people who are amazing, who are like-minded, like me, going after goals, achieving big things, and pushing themselves and others to be their best. Wouldn't it feel amazing to be surrounded by a community like that? To be surrounded by people who are like you, who have big goals and dreams, and they're going for them. Not only are they going for their goals, they're helping and encouraging you to go after yours. Well, if that sounds interesting, if that sounds fun, if that sounds like a community you would love to be part of, well then come check out Spencer's Energy Hub. That's right, I have our membership community, well I should say we have a membership community that's here for you. I say we because we are the energizers, just like you. We energize each other to be our best. We have monthly uh, rock star interviews, right? Where we interview masters in their field. We have weekly trainings. We meditate every week as a community. And you can hop and join us. You get special access to me along with an incredible community of people. 
So if you are ready to level up, if you are ready to be a rock star and crush your goals while being surrounded by an incredible and amazing community, check out Spencer's Energy Hub. All you have to do is go to spencersenergyhub.com and check it out. Or if you want, just head over to my website, www.spencermjones.com and check out the hub. We would love to have you inside. All right, back to your show. Uh, you know, I'm investing my energy, getting exhausted, trying to make things work, trying to find things that work. And I couldn't. Well, you know, let me give you another uh, example. Um, playing piano, right? So for me, I, when I learned to play piano, well, we invested in getting lessons. For or my parents, I should say, invested in getting lessons for me. And then later on, I invested in myself to continue to get lessons, right? And high school and in college. So I invested the money, but there are people out there who invest time and I invested the time and, and energy to do that, right? Who just invest time and energy, right? They watch YouTube videos of how to do it, or they, they learn from a friend, time, energy, totally cool. Uh, another example, back when I was in high school, I loved working with leather. It was fun. I enjoyed it, right? Getting belts and, and wallets and different things, right? Uh, and how to do, learn from leather. Well, my dad had a book of, of like leather crafting and I read that. So it was energy and time, right? Not really a lot of money involved besides maybe just investing in the leather or stuff that we've had uh, to buy to use. But outside of that, not really investing in that investment to, of me, of building that craft. Now, now I already mentioned it, right, with piano lessons a little bit, you can invest in money. So let's go back to the business example. What happened for me is I realized I was spending a lot of time, a lot of energy trying to figure out how to build a successful business and I was not having success. It wasn't until I invested money into a coach, a hiring a coach, uh, a guide to help me. And it wasn't that I it didn't have the right pieces. I just didn't have them in the right order. And I'll be honest, there were a couple pieces that I was missing in there as well. So the coach that helped me be able to line up, oh, here's what I'm missing. Oh, do this and then do this and then do this and then do this. Doing And then what, when I did that, my business took off, like skyrocketed when that happened. From all the work I did before, I'm sure that helped and that helped prep it, but things did not line up until I hired someone, I paid someone to help me. Piano lessons, right? I bet you I can learn faster taking lessons than just watching a YouTube video because I get feedback. I get feedback say, oh, I'm doing this right, you're doing that wrong, here's how you can change it, here's how you can adjust, here's how you can learn, here's how you can grow, right? So you invest money. Right, So you have lots of different options. You can invest time, you can invest your energy, and you can invest money. And sometimes it's all three right, to really help you excel. So in my business now, it's all three. I'm investing time, still listening to podcasts, um, and reading websites, books, um, investing energy, practicing what I'm reading, practicing and doing what the tasks that my guide and coach has, has me doing, right? And building that up, right? And money, investing in communities, right? Investing in masterminds, in communities to be part of, in coaching, and all those different things to help me be at my best. Now, everyone is in a different place. When I first started my business, I could not afford to financially invest in myself. So that's why I did time and energy. But where are you in your journey? Is it, can you invest time? Can you invest, invest energy? Or maybe you want to keep those at a higher, va they're higher valued for you. So you want to keep those. Your time is precious, right? We only have so much time. We only have so much energy for that matter too, to a degree. And well, so money, let's say you have the money you can invest and expediate how much time you spend learning something, taking control of something, having success with it, right? Having a, a coach and guide for my business accelerated my growth and the number of people we can impact in our business. So what for you and your goals, right? Playing piano, I got faster. I learned it faster because I had... I hired, or my parents and my and I hired uh, a teacher. So maybe it's investing in 
a course, a workshop, an event, um, an experience, lots of different things. But see where you need to invest in yourself because I promise you, you already are, not only by listening to this show, but by other means and other ways, you are already investing in you. But start becoming aware of it and seeing as, oh, I'm investing in me, I'm filling my cup. And then what am I investing? Oh, I'm investing my money. Oh, I'm investing my time. Oh, I'm investing my energy into me, right? When you start to invest in you, you have some amazing benefits that happen. And here's four, but there's even more benefits to it, right? But here are some of the top four. You have, you feel a sense of purpose. How many times do we go through life and just feel like we're wondering or that life is happening to us, not for us, right? That, that we struggle to have a purpose. Well, investing in yourself helps you find that purpose, right? You can do more of what you love. When you have that defined purpose, when you're investing in you, well, now you have the time, the ability to do more of what you love, whatever that is, right? You, you can do more of that. And you're more confident in yourself. Third benefit, right? You are more confident in what you can do, what you're able to do. It's awesome. It grows your confidence. And last but not least on our list is it lowers your stress level. Because I don't, I don't, do not know about you while talking. It's hard. I do not know about you. But for me, that time and, and hoping and praying that things would work out. I'm investing time, investing energy, and things are coming together. It was stressful. It was crazy stressful. Right? And heck, even sometimes investing money can be stressful for me. But in the end, when I invest in me, Instead of just letting life happen, I invest in me with whatever it is, time, energy, money. I learn, I grow, my stress goes down. It goes from way up here, really high, down, 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 to a calm place. When you invest in you, you lower your stress. And there's so many other benefits to investing in you. I encourage you to be aware of how you are investing in you and to intentionally do it and find the right investment for you and the right way to invest, right? So here are a couple ways you can invest in you. One, exercise. It's, it's a pretty common one, right? Exercise. Invest in your health, your physical, mental health by exercise, by eating healthy, right? It's another one. You could set goals and accomplish goals. You could uh, strengthen a skill you currently have. What's a skill that you have that you could strengthen? That's pretty cool, right? You can break bad habits. Maybe you have a habit you don't like that's not serving you. Maybe one of your investing in you strat or uh, focuses is to break that habit. You could participate in a positive group, like our five-day positivity challenge group, right? And I already mentioned this one. You can invest in you by attending different things, events, workshops, courses, experiences, virtual or in person. Right, we have our own here at Jones of Four, right? We have our elite growth experience, a three-month experience. We have a two-month accountability group. We have our challenge days, our adventure retreats. We have a whole bunch here, right? Plus, you know, our positivity group and Spencer's Energy Hub. Like, we have lots of ways to help you become your best. But there are other ways, there's other places for you to invest. See what works for you. See what aligns with you and then go in that direction. Because remember, you are amazing. You are awesome just the way you are, right? You are enough just the way you are. You don't necessarily need to do any of these things. But I will tell you this, that yes, we are enough, but it's nice to change, to grow, to improve. Why remain the same? Why? When we can be better, we can learn, we can grow, we can become wiser. Invest in you. Become aware of how you are already investing in you and then keep doing it and see which new ways can help you become better, to help you reach your goals, to help you live your dream. So I'll leave you with this. You are amazing. You are enough. Treasure yourself enough to invest in you it changes everything. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in uh, with this episode of the Jones and Four Show. Please hit like, please hit subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And if this episode helped you, please share it. Share it out uh, with your friends, right? On social media, whatever it is, so we can help them and make this world a happier, more joyful place to live. So with that, thank you for being you. I appreciate you and I will catch you later.